Hey guys, it's Trisha Johnson. You know, I don't know why I haven't said that. I guess y'all know who I am. But anyway, I figured I would do something different this morning. Instead of me changing Georgia and Raven so much, I really don't want to take Sailor out this adorable outfit that my husband bought her at the lake. But I just wanted to put something else on her. I know. I really didn't want to. Her little feet. Oh gosh. I love this kit. This kit's from China. It's an unknown kit. Um my friend Karen Myron reborn her. Um she done her. And I've been in love with Karen was on eBay flipping through kits. I'm like, Karen, order that kit. And I pushed it and put it in Karen's cart and told Karen to order it. I said, Karen, you need to get that baby. Um, So Karen got it and Karen reborn her. And when Karen got done with her, I said, Karen, I have to have her. Please let me have her. Because I didn't have a reborn. I had Ollie, but I sold Ollie. Um, which... I wish I never did. I kind of miss Ollie. Um, but anyway, uh, Karen reborn Sailor, and she had the doe suit body, which I'm fine with the doe suit body. Not the doe suit, but the, the onesie body. Then the regular um, doe suits that you get from Bountiful Baby. Um, some of y'all, if you look at my videos, you will see what I'm talking about. But you're about to see Sailor's body now. She does not have a doe suit. It's just a regular onesie that has got the sides cut. All you do is slit the little slits it underneath. Use the zip tie. Do the same thing for the neck. Um, you feed the zip tie through the arms, the neck, the legs. It's a lot easier. I should have got you a diaper. But anyway, um, yep. so Sailor has been in a onesie body ever since I've gotten her. She has not changed out of the doe suit except for a couple of times and I put her right back in the onesie. If you take care of it, it won't rip. You just got to be gentle. I mean, like you do a, a normal baby, you can't just... You know rush them to dress them but I do Georgia and Raven because you know they're bigger you know they're a lot bigger and I can pull on them a lot but like a newborn you can't do that because they're still fragile um, I've made a couple of bodies in the past with these um, I've only had one person tell me that the body is ripped but waiting for her to send her baby back so I can fix it. I told her that I would be glad to fix it for her. No problem. But anyhow, anywho, back to Sailor. Sailor just looks so pretty in pink. Her color used to not be pink. I used to always put her in teal colors and blues. But now that I got her back from Breely, because Breely had her for a little while, but now Breely's overwhelmed with reborns at her daddy's. So I got Sailor back. See her little feet. Sailor will always be my forever baby. So will my uh, ones I have now. Yep. I won't sell them. Nope. I pick with the girls all the time and say, oh, I got Georgia up for sale on eBay or Raven. They're like, Mama, quit playing with us. We know better. <gasps> they know it's a lie. I would never sell them. No. No, 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 no. She gives a little hair bow that matches perfectly. I 
I'm gonna have to put some more hair in her. There she is. I'm about to put a hair band around her head to hold the bow in place. Yep. There we go. And I don't know what happened, but Sailor didn't have the blue. I'm not saying Breely did it, but um, the blue has come on. Cells' hands, and I don't know why Cells has bluing on her hands. I don't know if y'all can see it very well. But her palm of her hand is actually turning blue, and I don't know why. But I've always taken care of her. Not saying Breely did it, but this is one thing I try to put on Sailor's hands. Um, because when you're out in public and people touch them, their hands are dirty, and I think that's what happens, is you, you go to let them feel your babies. Their hands are, like, grimy and stuff or something, and uh, grime stays on there. Yep. I think that's what happened. Oh, Sailor? I'm going to go put on her thumb bit backwards. There we go. But that's just my opinion. I think when you have a newborn, you should always keep mittens on them. Regardless if they're alive, a real baby, or a uh, reborn. That's just my opinion. Because of people. That looks a little bit better. Oh, sorry guys. Here she is. Miss Sailor. Yep. Guys, I might do another video later on in the day. I'm thinking about taking her with me to the school to get Gage. Yep. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.